Trouble back straight away. Around goes the 47 on the very first lap. Ricky Stenhouse with front end damage. You can see Reddick still on the on the bottom. Oh, Stenhouse all the, almost four wide at the very bottom makes contact, sends him directly into that inside wall and in, into that safer barrier. And in that initial skirmish, one of those cars involved was Quinn Howe, who has never turned a lap here and yet started this race from 27th. So damage front and rear to Stenhouse. That looks yeah, heavy I don't know, damage. Jeff, pretty terminal. And, and just Ricky Stenhouse's day has gone up in flames after crashing to bring out the first caution. As I said on Fox News yesterday, if we can just get past lap one. You never run, not use up too much of those tires, not build those air pressures up too much. And he's also, oh, Jimmy Johnson. No. around. Into the wall. Oh, unbelievable, our leader. Shaking his head, boy, you know he's frustrated with that. So you see Jimmy turns down low, runs all four on that apron like he's been doing. Oh, the 17 had to check up just a little bit, and Jimmy's right front made contact and turned him around. Boy, it didn't take much, just the tiniest bit. Oh, yeah, you can see the 17 of Busher just gets a little loose, makes a little contact, outside wall checks up. He and the 48 of Jimmy Johnson, that ally Chevrolet, make contact, boy. This time it looked like maybe William was gonna try that high line. Denny Hamlin takes advantage. Oh, whoa, big moment for the 24, I think he... He got it. Yeah, I think that, uh, yeah, but I think Mike, I don't know if that's a tire, but you saw him wiggle getting into the corner. He had an issue off right the turn rear. two. Yep. Yeah, right rear tires down. That sent him into the wall. No caution, though. Another tough break for Rick Hendrick Chevrolet's. First Jimmy Johnson. Oh, he's going to spin. William Byron brings out the caution. Yeah, the carcass on that tire, the tread came off of it, sending that 24 car around. This is going into turn three after Denny Hamlin just made the move. You saw right away an issue for William Byron in that 24 car. The car wiggled, stepped out. He just tried to correct it and made contact with outside wall. I really believe this started back off of turn two because when Denny was able to get to the inside of him, that had not been the lane that he had been. Eric Jones had to jump on the brakes. Evasive action there the best and he's teamed up with one of the best teams we've long called him the closer but here he is leading this race. oh around goes Daniel Suarez. Suarez now this is somewhat similar I know we heard Regan say that there's a loose tire in the 24 car but this is something kind of similar it comes off the turn two we could see here how much more throttle and speed you can carry through turn spin around a turn four and a car against the wall that'll put us under caution. Yes. Why does that always happen when I'm taking us for a ride around this place? Man, yeah, way it just up high. starts to get loose early in the middle, turns three and four. Does a long slide. Ryan Blaney avoids him. There pops. No tire. Oh, he did make some yeah. contact with that left front. Might not have made much uh, aerodynamic. Caution is out. Chris Busher has spun and done a lot of damage to his uh, number 17 Roush Racing Ford. Loose wheel. So there's Logano on pit road in the middle of your screen. And there's Busher having, having problems. Pit stop. And Ryan Newman has spun down in turn one. He came very slow down into the corner. Now gets going again. Oh, man, he got really loose. I don't know if he was, I don't think. And the question, he, I'm, I'm going to guess he spins, yeah. yeah. Spins down here. That's going to bring out the caution. Well, he almost got into that inside wall.